been a question of sport. of a question of sport as you've already seen we are kicking off tonight with a stellar lineup but before we play the quiz in case you think the two captains have been taking it easy here's a sneak peek at what they've been up to more of that a little later on <laughs> okay it is time for the captain's challenge now and we sent the boys to try a bit of canoe slalom instead of numbers hanging over the gates the captains had to negotiate their way through some sporting venues each gate missed will add to the difficulty of your question let's see how they got on yes welcome to the lee valley whitewater center home to the olympic canoeing competition of course i think it looks a little bit tricky we're going to need some help here mate. yeah of course we're going to need some help but there's bound to be a few Olympic medalists knocking around, let's be honest. Let's go find some. Oh, come, come on, on mate. This way, this oh, way. Well, Matt and Phil will certainly have their work cut out today by the looks of things. The course is very testing. The trickiest section between Old Trafford and Wimbledon. The boys will be keen to get through there safely. Hoping to steer Matt to victory is Olympic and world silver medalist Richard Hounslow. Dawson and Hounslow then away first, all about accuracy, not necessarily speed. Safely through Murrayfield and escape from Scotland's national stadium for Dawson, but his huge head just clatters into the pole of the crucible. That may come back to Hobson. Getting into the wall briefly there, but Hounslow gets them right again, working hard against the current and just about through Old Trafford. Things getting choppy now this is where it really does get difficult for these two working hard against the current up towards st andrews dawson considers himself a, a golfer of some repute but then just caresses the pole there another We're question to answer later on he's just shouting random words now matt dawson up I'm towards done. wimbledon and safely through that one now on towards burley I'm not sure about their uh, equestrian knowledge will want to get safely through this one which they do a bit of a, a clatter there. Then on to Wembley. Safely through once more. Dawson looking ever more the expert here as he warms to the challenge. And gently, gingerly through. Just a couple more to go. Working hard across the stream here. Hounslow, a little duck at the head. The expert, oh, but then Dawson wasn't aware at all of where he was there. Into the post. That's one more knock in Silverstone. And down to the final gate. It's in three, and well, an arm there. That'll be down to the judges' panel. Did they get through safely? <laughs> right, Phil, your yeah. turn. So, too, Phil Tufnell on the man challenged with a sizable task of keeping Phil in the boat is Olympic gold medalist Tim Bailey. Tufnell and Bailey, then, here we go. God bless her and all who sail in her. Little greys on the pole of Murrayfield. That'll be down to the judging panel again. Oh, and I see his technique now, just swatted aside with a hand. I think that's okay. Uh, Tufnell will be heading up the steps for a moment, but reverse paddling well along with Bailey. His expertise sees them safely through Old Trafford. That's Bailey, not Tufnell. Sideways now, utter terror on the face of Tufnell, but again, going well. And uh, paddling back against the stream, up towards St Andrews, working hard. And that time the boat just tipping the pole, but that's fine. He himself and Bailey safely through. Here goes Tufnell again. Look at the physique. Actually, don't look at the physique. Look at the handwork from Tufnell. That's his tactics. Swatting it aside once again. I think that's okay. Almost into the concrete block. Rather cowardly tactics from Tufnell. Will he be able to answer the question? Tufnell now. 
through Wembley with Bailey. Just three more to go. This is a good run. On then to Headingley, scene of many great performances for England cricketers other than Phil Tufnell. Safely through though. Uh, but Bailey is steering hard. He's providing the engine power now. And Tufnell aware of where he is, looking round. And safely through Silverstone as well. Just. Tufnell has done a Devon lock. He's just collapsed. Will Bailey be able to see him through? They will get there.